How's it going, everyone? It is IPC, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, please leave a like, comment, and share this video wherever you can. I would appreciate that very, very much. Roger Waters from Pink Floyd fame. He is the co-founder of Pink Floyd, the lead singer, the lead composer. He wrote one of the greatest albums of all time, which is Pink Floyd's The Wall, which they turned into a movie. And one of the iconic songs was Another Brick in the Wall Part 2. That and Comfortably Numb. I love Comfortably Numb. It's a really great track. <laughs> oh my gosh. But nevertheless, um, I love Pink Floyd. Um, I'm a huge Pink Floyd fan. And I'm a big Roger Waters fan, which is why I wanted to make this video because, oh my god, I love him even more after what he said to Mark Zuckerberg. So, Mark Zuckerberg, he is the founder of Facebook and Instagram, and he asked Roger Waters for permission to use Another Brick in the Wall Part 2 in an Instagram marketing campaign. And I'm going to show you guys what Rogers said in response to, you know, Mark Zuckerberg's request. So, let's see what he had to say. And I'm going to mute my mic so that way you guys don't hear the video play in the background. This is something that I actually put in my folder when I came out here today. You have no idea what it is. Nobody does, because it arrived... Uh, on the internet to me this morning. It's a request for the rights to use my song, Another Brick in the Wall 2, uh, in the making of a film to promote Instagram. So it's a missive. <laughs> it's a missive from Mark Zuckerberg to me, right? Arrived this morning with an offer of a huge, huge amount of money, and the answer is, fuck you. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> and I, I only mention that because this is an, an insidious, it's the insidious movement of them to take over absolutely everything, you know. So those of us who do have any power, and I do have a little bit, uh, in terms of the control of the publishing of my songs, I do anyway, so... I will not be a party to this bullshit, Zuckerberg. Yes. We want to thank you for considering this project. We feel that the core sentiment of this song is still so prevalent and necessary today, which speaks to how timeless a work is true. And yet, they want to, they want to subjoin it. They want to use it to make Facebook and Instagram even bigger and more powerful than it already is so that it can continue to censor all of us in this room and prevent this story about Julian Assange getting out to the general public so the general public could go, what? What? No. No more. Not a mass. Zuckerberg features in my new rock and roll show. I've got him sit. Oh, no, I shouldn't tell you. But... But, but he does. But you think, how did this little prick who started off by saying, she's pretty, we'll give her a four out of five. She's ugly, we'll give her a one. How the f did he get a, any power in anything? And yet here he is, one of the most powerful idiots in the world. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't say anything more. Oh my gosh, that was that was epic right there. So... He basically told him, fuck off. <laughs> and rightfully so, because they would have just taken this song and just promoted themselves to be bigger, like he said. And that's what these corporations want. They want control over our speech. They want control of the way we think as well. That's why that we need to support alternative media. You know, we need to support alternative social media more than anything because eventually, eventually Facebook and Twitter will censor everyone. You won't be able to speak your mind on issues or things that are going on in this world because they want you to think the way that they think. 
and that to me is it, it, it's a thought killer it really is to not be able to express yourself however you want and I don't necessarily agree with everything that Roger Waters you know believes in in terms of his politics I don't agree with everything but I agree with him on this that Facebook Twitter Instagram all these big big social media platforms all these big corporations they have way too much power as is yet now they want full control of how we use their platform and like i said you know they're eventually going to censor everybody they're going to censor rogers they're going to censor us that's why they are trying to push these platforms out there so that way that they can control our speech. That's what they want to do. They want to silence us. And that's something that I, as a libertarian, disagree with. As a libertarian, I believe that everybody has the freedom to say whatever they want without any repercussions, by the way, and that everybody is, you know, entitled to their opinion and can express themselves however they want. So that's one of the most important things to me, and it's one of the most, you know, important human rights that we have, is being able to speak out against things that go against our principles. And I have much more respect for Roger Waters for turning down Mark Zuckerberg and basically telling him to fuck off. I mean, I've already had respect for Roger Waters, but now I have even more respect for him. So kudos to you, Roger Waters. Thank you for putting this fuck in his place. And yeah, fuck commie China. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Anyways, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, this has been PC. Signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video.